Now that you've downloaded Code to Be Author, let's dive into the exciting process of creating your first ebook. As soon as you open the software, you'll be greeted with a pop-up window to guide you through the creation process. From this window, you have several options to get started. The first one is to open a new ebook. You will need to choose whether you want your ebook layout to be fixed or reflowable. We'll explain the differences between them in detail in our next video. Next, you'll need to select whether you want to work on a blank canvas or pick one of the various templates available. If you've been previously working on a project, you can either press Open and select the project file to continue working on it. Or you can select it from the Recently Opened tab if you've worked on it earlier. You also have the option to import content from various formats, such as PDF, HTML, Website, Docs, EPUB, or KPUB, Codebee's file format, which can be opened using Codebee Reader. You can now also import content in RTF, ODT, Markdown, or LaTeX formats. For now, let's assume we're creating a new digital textbook. So let's select one of the textbook templates available here. Great! Now that we've created our ebook using the chosen template, it's time to add our content and bring our ebook to life. Code to be Author provides a range of powerful features to help you create engaging content. We'll explore all these features in detail in the next section. In the next video, we'll show you how to choose the right layout, whether fixed or reflowable. Stay tuned.